Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Lick, Lick, Lick by Pleasure P. And it's going to start on an E minor chord. And the way you play E minor, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the E minor, we're going to go to a D major chord. And the way you play D major, first finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go to the high E on the second fret. And the third finger is going to go to the B string on the third fret. And if you strum just the top four strings, just the D, G, B, and E, that'll get you your clearest sound out of that. That's called D major. It sounds really, really happy. And then from D major, we're going to be going to a C major chord. And the way you play C major, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret. Second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. And third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And actually a lot of our song, actually our, our entire chord progression is just going to be that E minor, D, C major, E minor, D major, C major. And we'll talk about where we're going to move it for key in a moment. But a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. And if we're going to try that just a lot on the E minor to get used to it, you have down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. But if we tried that through our chord progression, then we'd have E minor down, down, up. song but instead of an eighth note feel strum pattern it really feels like they're working off a 16th and what I, what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat and you divide it into two parts that's something called an eighth note so one two one two one two what a 16th note is is if you divide it into four parts like one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four and what I really think matches the feel of the song is kind of a long down 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 up up down down up down up and what I mean by that is like if you took the E minor and did it down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you'd be doing on the first beat. And on the second beat, you'd be doing a down, down up. So you're down on one, down on three, up on four. So you'd be going one, two, three, four, down, down, up. two down on three so one two three four one up down 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 and then on the fourth beat you'd be doing down up down up right along with the one two three four so down up down up one two three four one two three four one two three four so all together you got long down major chord like with with this strum pattern will feel like they're halving so one way to do that would be doing a long down and then a down down up on the E minor same thing on the D long down 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 up and then doing the C with the whole strum pattern C down down up strum pattern between them. So you start with the down, 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 up, D, up, down, down, up, down, C, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, D, up, down, down, up, down, C, down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Now because of that opening lick and 
we're actually going to talk about that like in just a moment. Um, it almost feels like you're doing a down, down, down on the E minor and then the up, up, down, down, up, down, up on the D chord. So to try that too, you'd have E minor with down, 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 D on the up. a lot of different ways you can kind of strum your way through the tune but the coolest part of this tune is that opening lick and actually I think this part actually it might even be easier to do it hybrid picking which is where you use your pick with your fingers or you could even use it at just finger style but the basic lick is you're doing the low E string and the D string at the same time and then doing a hammer on to the second fret on the D string so we kind of do an open D and open D, uh, E at the same time, and doing a hammer on on second on the or from open to second on the D, and then we play second on the D, open G, open B, and then open E. So we got opens together, hammer on two, three, four, open, open, and then from there we go to almost like a little piece of the D chord where you would do the open D, second fret on the G, and third fret on the B string. It's kind of a t all together, like so. You could even do that as a strum, or you could use your thumb and, and fingers, or you could use your pick and, and the fingers to kind of do all three of those at the same time. And then we go open G, second fret on the D, and then there's this really cool part where you go second fret on the G string and kind of do a hammer on to, to the fourth fret on the G string. So I'm kind of playing two on the G and kind of putting my finger down on fourth fret to get the sound to carry. And then from, from, from there, we're going to second fret on the D, and then open G, and then second fret on the G, and then we do that hammer on on the G string again, and then we do second fret on the G as a pull off to open G, and then second fret on the D, and then open D. So we got the open low E, open D at the same time, hammer on the D string, and then two O, oh, O, oh, O, oh, and then the O, oh, two, three together. It's kind of the D chord. And then open G, two on the D, two four as a, as a hammer on. And then kind of coming back, two on the D, open G, two, two hammer on on the G, two pull off to open, and then two on the D, open D. Oh, and actually I did that as a pull off on the end. But you got the O's together, two O, O. Kind of playing a G note, E G B, E G A A B A G E D. And if you wanted to, you could do that as a pull off on, on the end. So that that's kind of that intro lick. One other thing you may want to do is try adding in the third fret on the A string where the C change actually happens. And if you did that, you, you'd have you still have the whole lick the same way with the D major, and you still got your open G, second fret on the D. But then when you do your second fret to do that hammer on the G string, you could kind of add in the A string on the third to kind of get those two notes together at the same time. Two O two. try that with just the fingers too sometimes that makes it a little bit easier so you may want to try that too and then there's a really cool lead part that comes in on fifth fret on the high E and we'd be doing a hammer on the seventh fret and then high, high E on the fifth and then eighth fret on the B and then seventh fret on the B and then we kind of do a third fret to fifth fret slide on the high E and then we go back to 3rd fret on the high E, and then 5th fret on the B. And then we kind of come back, ninth fret on the high E with a hammer on to 10. And then, oh, 8 to 10. Uh, then we come back, 8 to 10 hammer on the high E. And then, A7, 10.
So, so there's kind of a lead part where, where you go 8th fret to 10th fret hammer on the high E, and then 8th fret on the high E, 7th fret on the high E, and then 10th on the B, and then 7th fret on the high E, kind of doing a slide to 8, back to 7 on the high E, and then 8th fret on the B. So you got 8, 10 hammer on, 8, 7, 10, 7, 8, 7, 8 on the B. But the weird thing is actually all of these licks actually, and, and the chords too, because of the key, we're actually going to end up moving these. So instead of starting on an E minor, Pleasure P is actually starting on an F minor chord. So if you want to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on first fret, then now your E minor is really an F minor, your D major is really an E flat major, and your C major is really a D flat major. But if we tried that through all those different ways, we, we could do just the down, down, up, up, down, up. And I, actually, you could even take your lick and kind of try that for the intro. Of that. D. And then we could kind of go to the chords, and you could do that with that down, down, up, up, down, up. So you have the E minor with the long down, 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 D, down, 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 C, down, 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 up, down, 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 down,